We're now on to the final of the women's quadruple skulls. This title won by the German Democratic Republic last year, and that crew this time around representing Germany in lane four, and very much the favourites. One in Lucerne, as we look at in lane one, closest to you on camera, the bronze medalist, Czechoslovakia. Three of last year's crew surviving, just the bow girl, Michaela Lukotova, the newcomer to the crew. In uh, lane number two, the uh, Soviet Union, silver medalists with uh, half the crew surviving. Next to them will be the Dutch, qualified directly into the final. Anita Myland at stroke with the favourites of Germany Are in lane ready? number four. Go. Outside them, Romania in five and Bulgaria completing the lineup in lane six. Bulgaria on the far side, slow off, but the Germans very quickly away. And an experienced quad. Stroked by Jana Sorgers, Olympic champion. And sitting behind her, Claudia Kruger, then Sybil Schmidt and Kirsten Kurpen. And uh, we look forward to seeing them in close-up action as this, gate, as this race unfolds. Meanwhile, uh, in uh, lane number two, it's the Soviet quad that, in fact, is uh, doing some good work in these early stages. Yes, they're rating very high. You can see how quickly they're moving, rating very high. Uh, you'd expect them to settle down and start using their power. Uh, uh, they've got a long way to go into a hard, hard headwind. And there's Bulgaria, a lot of water splashing around there. Bulgaria have been suffering a little bit in the last uh, year or so. Funds are short, training is difficult, but they're here in the final, and it's Russia who have got the lead. Indeed, uh, the Bulgarians, well, they did make the effort, they managed to uh, get down to Tasmania, which was a tremendous performance. They finished sixth in the final, and there's just uh, one of that crew uh, remaining. Here are the Romanians, new uh, quartet uh, contesting this final. And the wind is vicious now as it was right at the beginning of the morning. As you can see, that hard, hard finish that they have, which you really do need into a headwind. Perhaps it's a bit too much of a wrench, but the Russians still spinning along at quite a high rate, and they'll pay for that later on. But they're moving well together. Czechoslovakian blades there, Irena Sukobova, the stroke of the Czechoslovakian crew. She stroked the crew to a bronze medal in uh, Tasmania. And... Uh, not without a chance in this competition, although on the form at Lucerne, they've got something to find on the Germans, who are the outstanding favourites for this competition. The Russians look well up in front there, still spinning along at that high rate. Indeed, the uh, picture there are a bit deceptive, because the Russians were through 500 in 139.04, and the Czechs in uh, 143.86, almost five seconds off the pace. But here they are. well together but finding this headwind quite difficult they're quite slight compared to the Russian crew and there's quite a hard lug through the middle of that stroke and it's not their conditions at all now the uh, Soviets feeling the pressure of uh, the Germans out in lane four looking smooth the uh, Soviet crew they were one and two in Lucerne the honors going to the Germans but now you can see that extra little bit of length from the Germans is beginning to pay off as they pull and reel in the Russians. That's right, the Russians have got that higher rate and it's less effective and the Germans more effective, bit stronger forward, getting a good, good big pick up at the front end of the stroke uh, and making it more effective and the second half uh, they will make that work for them much, much better. The Russians have done all they can in this first thousand meters. Uh, I would have expected them to use their weight a little bit more effectively to challenge the Germans. But they had a good go, still maintaining this high spinning rate. Indeed. Well together, well together though. Indeed, the Germans travelling at uh, something like a second quicker through this second 500 and they've taken the lead there. They were through that uh, 500 in 146.07 as opposed to the Soviet crew in 147.41. So all the difference there coming from the Germans. I still expect the Germans to bring their skulls down to the water a little bit more because you can see how high off the water they are at the catch and that must be losing them quite a lot 
uh, not quite as effective on the catch as one would expect them to be. And you can see the Bulgarians on the far side in the picture there. Haven't been dropped too much in contention for uh, maybe a bronze medal there. But at the moment, it's the Germans. The German, very powerful, very strong, keeping an eye on the Dutch. Indeed, the Dutch who, uh, with the Germans, qualified directly for this final. But they uh, started slowest of all in uh, the first 500. They've moved up a slot to uh, fifth place by halfway. But they're going to have to find something special if they're going to put themselves in a medal contention in the second half of this race now. They are also rather lighter than the Germans and the Russians, and they will find this headwind quite difficult. But this is poetry in motion watching this quartet. Well, it's, 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 uh, they're moving very fast, they're very powerful, but I've seen them looking smoother. There's a, a real hunched feel from the girl at three who's, who's uh, grabbing at it. She's not getting a swing into the, into the stroke, uh, but they are winning, and that's all that really matters. The Dutch rather out of the, uh, out of the medal hunt, finding these conditions very difficult, and the Czechs even further back struggling quite badly in last place yes disappointment there from the Czechs then the Dutch as we move back up the uh, field well the Germans have really opened out this field haven't they the last 500 meters that third 500 meters they really did make their mark 144 14 for the third 500 um, and the next best time with the Dutch 145 95 with uh, the Soviet Union only uh, in fourth fastest through that third 500. Yeah, well, those Russians paid very much for that high rating first, first thousand. Interesting, though, to note that uh, the Romanians now beginning to pick up. They were third fastest through that third quarter. And you could see there they've gone past uh, the Bulgarians, past the Dutch, and they're now in the bronze medal position and trying to move on the uh, Soviet crew. Meanwhile, the Germans out on their own stroked by Jana Sorgas, the most experienced member of that crew with a whole string of titles to her credit including an Olympic gold in 1988. There she is sitting behind her Claudia Kruger then Sybil Schmidt and Kirsten Köppen in the bow. And the Germans have certainly got this one like they did last year formerly from East Germany. The Germans are dominating the sculling events, the double and the quad. Silky Lahman took the single, but they're dominating the crew sculling. The Canadians are dominating the rowing at the moment. And it's Germany powering for the line, well clear of the field. And it's Romania fighting for a third place. The Russians are still in a silver medal position. There they are, they've been in lane two. They threw down an early challenge to uh, the Germans, but when the Germans turned on the power in the second 500, really they had no response. 6.45.80 the winning time, they take the gold ahead of the Soviet Union and uh, Romania in third place ahead of the Dutch who were really outgunned. Fifth on the far side Bulgaria and a disappointing Czechoslovakian crew just about to finish beneath us in lane number one. The confirmation of the result, the Germans uh, with uh, a pretty emphatic victory, if not uh, the smoothest performance we've seen from them. Yes, but dominant, absolutely. Soviet Union, silver, Romania getting the bronze medal with uh, Holland, Bulgaria and Czechoslovakia, fourth, fifth and sixth. Difference between those six crews, 21 seconds. And here are the Germans, there's Sybil Schmidt winning a third gold medal in this particular category. And who's to say they won't take Olympic gold in Barcelona? Yeah, I can't see anybody who's going to stop them because the, the power that they showed over that second half of the race was quite extraordinary. As long as they're hungry and still motivated, a winter's training won't be too much of a problem. Well, this German team is very, very strong, this United German team. They're doing, they're really showing the way home, I think, right across the board. So, five gold medals still to be won, including the eights.